The export feature in Cubase and Nuendo is a powerful tool and I'll show you a few tricks how to speed up your workflow. So here is a short trick. Let's say you want to export playlinks for a band and you want to create a play along for the keys and for the bass and for the drums. So for the keys, we mute the keys. And then you go to file and export audio mix down and say play along keys. Okay, add next, you mute the bass. And you go to file, export, and say play along bass, and so on. But this will take a lot of time, and there can happen some failure. So, the next time you change the arrangement, you've got to export again, and this will take a lot of time again. I show you another way. I create three different group tracks, and let's say we name them play along. The first one is play along keys. The next one is play along bass. And this one is play along drums. Okay. And now I send everything to the keys, but not the keys. You can do this with three different ways. At first I use the sense and here I choose keys and activate them. And again, keys, activate, and again, keys. And you see, this will take a little time again, and I will show you a faster way. So the next one, I want to send everything, but not the bass, to play along bass. So I choose all these tracks. And now I want to use the quick link. I can do this or I use the key command shift alt and you can see it's activated and the same it's activated here too, but you can't see it because the quick link button is not here, but trust me, it works. So we send all the stuff to play along base. And you see here it worked. Okay, and the last one is play along drums. So here is the third option. Now I use the direct routing. I go to this, when you don't see it, I open it. And we send this stuff to the drums. And you see, well, we can choose between stereo or the group, but not both together. Yes, we can. Right click here and hold summing mode and now we can send it to both okay so when we play the track now it's getting louder why because we send all the different tracks to the stereo out and we don't want to do this so now we can hear the normal mix bus But how can we listen to the tracks to check whether a thing is okay? So for this, I use the listen bus. It's very useful to choose the control room and activate it. And I've done a video about this. And now we can do this. And we've got another thing here. We've got the delay. And uh, there are two different sounds using the delay. We've got the piano and we've got the bass here, but the echo is just rooted to the main bus, to the stereo and not to something else. And we want to have two different delays. So this one is, let's say, delay piano or keys. And this one, is delay bass 
And now let's check this one, delay piano, awesome. And this we sent to delay bass. Now we've got the same sound. But we want to listen to this delay, not at the piano, but at all the other stuff. Now I route the delay of the piano to the play along drums and the play along bass. And we do the same here. The bass is routed to play along keys and play along drums. Let's here activate the summing mode and do this. When you do side chaining, there can be a little trap. I show you the side chaining here. We've got this pad. Very simple, but when I use the kick, you can hear the side chaining. So here I've got the compressor and the kick is going into this compressor. But when I mute the kick, there's no signal coming into the compressor. Okay, so what do I hear? I duplicate this track, then I go to the direct routing, and here I say no bus, and this is my kick trigger. And now, I go here to my compressor and I want to deactivate this kick. I just use the trigger kick. And now I want to solo defeat or solo uh, save this kick. So this kick is playing every time. When I just play solo here or another track, this kick will play every time. You can't hear it, but it's triggering the compressor of this pad. So let's solo the pad. So you are really sure and safe that the compressor is working when you mute something here, when you mute other tracks for the SPOC and something else. Okay, now let's start the export. I go to File export mix down and here we say we want be the naming scheme we choose the project name and now we want to export multiple tracks so here we've got our group channels and we choose this one nothing else okay and now we say You've got the project name, this one, and the channel name. And we want to create new audio tricks. So let's do it. How do you choose your export range? Well, I guess most of the people choose the whole arrangement. Press P and go to File and export, we choose single, and let's try how it sounds, and we listen to the end of the song. So we've got the audio file here at the end. Let's go. So you heard that the delay is cut it. We didn't hear all the delays and the reverb and sustained sounds because the export here is too short. So the range is too short. We can do this or this, but this means every time you uh, export the song, you've got to check it and do it again. And I prefer to start a few milliseconds before the song. So you've got this and perhaps you've got multiple versions. So here's my long version, here's my short version. Okay, for me, it's very important when I export that it's always 
the same length, the same starting point, the same end and so on. So I add a track. Now I choose marker. Let's call it export. And I go to this one. Um, let's listen whether the reverb and delay are finished here. Not really. Let's go to here. And sometimes I automate the mix bars with automations uh, for the volumes. And we go to here. Let's do this and this. And now we can say this is the long version. And this is the short version. And now we can export the whole song and we can export multiple things. So we can export stereo and we can export here the play alongs. And let's say you want to choose the cycle marker. So we don't need this. What I export now, we choose the project name. Now we choose the cycle marker name and we choose the channel name. Okay, and now I export. And now you can see I exported the stereo mix, the three different play alongs and the two different versions long and short in one pass. When I could help you, please give me a thumb up, it would make me very happy. And when you get some more questions or suggestions, just leave a comment. So what are the topics you are interested in? See you the next time. Bye.